Alright, what is up? This is Slow Plays, and I am back in again with some more Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 DLC 17 update info here on the channel for something really, really important that you guys gotta know before this next update comes. Now, again, I don't know exactly when DLC 17 is officially dropping. I'm still going to make the assumption that it will be sometime around the next gen version in May. Again, I have no idea yet, but this is very important in regards to TP Metals. We talked about this. Remember, several months ago, they announced that TP Metals were going to no longer be sold and it was going to be replaced by a new currency. Now they put out the official information on how this is going to work, what you need to do before the launch, and how things will transfer if you are going to be upgrading from the PS4 to the PS5 version. Now just bear with me in this video because we're also going to be going over the current raid uh, that is, it should be live right now, but if not, you know, check back on Friday as always. But um, there's a lot in the info in this video, so if you need to skip through and you want to know what's going on for everything, you can absolutely do that. I'm not forcing you to watch everything. So if you do not give a shit at all about the TP Metal stuff, um, you can skip through and go to uh, probably halfway through the video and you'll see me talk about the PyCon stuff, okay? So if you have TP Metals in the game right now, okay, don't worry. It's still going to be currency that you can use, okay? There's a lot in this. I'm going to try to break it down and explain it to the best of my ability to simplify it. But if you are still confused, you can comment down below and I'll try to explain it again, okay? So in order to improve the in-game environment, sales of TP Metals will end on all digital stores, okay? They're specifically talking about the uh, actual TP Metals that you can purchase within the PS Store, Xbox Store, whatever it may be. Um, you know, you buy it with real money, right? So TP Metals will be replaced by a new STP Metal currency. I'm assuming that stands for Super or Special TP Metal um that's going to be the official new currency coming so please refer to this image okay so we're going to read this image real quick and um try to figure out what's going on here all right so thank you for playing xenoverse 2 to improve in-game environment we will end tp metal store uh tp metals from the digital digital stores and will transition to the stp metals store sales of tp metals will end on may 16th okay so that's about a week before the uh, next gen drops or whatever. Okay, so you still have time. It's 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 about a month from now, right? A new paid currency, STP TP Metals, will be available from June 2024 onward. Okay, so they're not. It's not going to be implemented right after these end. There's going to be a about a month period before we see uh, the new currency. Okay, so again, you can see the dates here: it's May 16th, May 15th, depending on where you live um you know time zones and everything so uh the content that will no longer be sold after may 16th will be every single variant of uh tp metals like that you can buy okay so if you uh you know if you buy it usually you can buy them in uh increments of 200 500 1000 2000 or 5000 all that shit's going to be gone i'm assuming it's just going to be replaced exactly by the same amount but i could be wrong we'll see so tp metals after the transition Okay, so keep this in mind. This is the very, very important part. After May 16th, players will still be able to earn TP medals by playing and using them in game. You just won't be able to buy them, okay? I don't think, just me personally, I don't recall actually ever buying TP medals. I've always just grinded for them just because I don't, I don't, I'm not unlocking everything, okay? There's a lot of stuff I just, I just don't care about. I don't want to do, uh, you know, the grind for or whatever. Um, so I just won't even do it, right? Period, okay? But, I mean, you can you always had the opportunity and the option to buy them if you really didn't want to grind and you wanted to unlock certain things, okay? So, um, you can use them in-game. You can still unlock them. You just can't purchase them. Any TP Metals acquired prior to May 16th, 2024 can be used after the store sales end, okay? So if you want to... You could, I don't know how what the maximum amount you can buy is. I, mean, I assume it's like 9,999 or something like that. I could be wrong. I have never gotten to that amount. So y'all let me know down in the comments. But if you want to, you could go in there right now and just bulk mass fucking buy the times 5K, okay? Again, to, to the point where it's maxed out and you can't buy anymore. So you could do that before it ends and still be able to use them, right? So, about the uh, STP medals, with a few exceptions, items acquired by spending TP medals can also be purchased with STP medals. So, it's gonna, you know, you can do both, right? 
Um, items introduced in future updates can only be bought with STP medals with some exceptions. So I guess whatever happens after May 16th, any other update that occurs after that time in terms of DLC, uh, you know, DLC packs in general, um, anything that's going to be purchasable, it's going to be using specifically STP metals. You can't use TP metals, okay? I assume everything else that was that came out before this transition happened, you could still use TP metals, I think. I don't know, but we'll see, okay? Because it says with some exceptions, all right? So players will need to connect to the online servers first before they can acquire STP metals, okay? So I think that's pretty much the same of uh, acquiring, obviously, you know, TP metals if you're going to purchase them, right? You do need an online service or whatever. Please stay tuned for details on STP metals. We thank you for your uh, patience during the transition. So there's probably going to be more info uh, coming out, right? Now let's talk about the transfer from PS4 to PS5, okay? Uh, I'm going to be using the uh, Asia website for this one or the, the account because they actually have images of what it's going to look like, right? So let me get out of this and we'll read um, the actual English slash, I guess, worldwide date, data or whatever, okay? So note, note on transferring TP metals when transferring save data from the PS4 to PS5 version. I'll open this up bigger for y'all so you can see everything a little bit better. Now, I'm not gonna read every single detail here. I'm just gonna kind of give you the the, the, the basic info on how this is going to work, okay? So basically, okay, what they're trying to say at the main top part, for example, is if you buy TP Metals on the PS4, I can't even speak, PS4 version, make sure you claim them on the PS4 version first, okay? So after you buy it, you don't automatically just get it real quick, like in there. You have to go like, I guess, claim them or whatever. I've never bought them before, so I don't, I don't know exactly how it works, okay? But um, with the image that I'm going to show up here, it'll make sense, okay? So you, you got to claim them in your game first before you transfer everything to the PS5 version. Because it states right here, if you buy it and you don't claim it, it's not going to transfer at all, okay? So the example that they're using here is in image one, okay? When upgrading the PS4 to PS5 version, there are notes regarding the transfer of TP metals due to the termination of sales, okay? So here's the image that you need to know. It'll say, after you purchase it, there are TP metals available from PlayStation Network. Do you want to claim however many that you fucking bought, right? And then right here, there are TP metals available, just depending, I guess, whatever, wherever it's gonna be shown, okay? Um, I'm not sure where this specific one is. I think this is, oh, okay. I think this is whenever you are in Xenoverse 2 itself and you buy them, okay? Because you can do that. You can go in Xenoverse 2 and actually buy the tp metals in game okay so that would probably be the better option so that's not as confusing but if you go and buy it in the store the separately before opening up the game it's going to show this when you open up the game right does that make sense i'm sorry if that's really confusing i know that's a lot to kind of take in but i try to break it down as best as possible okay so just make sure you do it on the ps4 version the version that you're playing claim it in that version first before you transfer an upgrade to PS5 whenever it happens, okay? Again, that's not yet, it's gonna be in May. All of this happens in May, right? So that's the whole TP Metal to STP Metal situation that's going on right now, okay? Now let's talk about Raid. So PyCon Raid, this isn't a brand new raid, but this is a pretty good raid because Fuse clothes are back! Back at it again, I know some people have been asking for Fuse outfit. This does not come with the accessory set, okay? Uh, that's the wig, the glasses, and I think the sword. That's not what comes in this one, right? So this should be up today, later today. Check back around like 8 p.m. I usually say, but if anything, depending on time zones, Friday. Friday's always the best day to do it. It'll last until April 24th, okay? So let's go over all the information because the GOAT, the absolute GOAT legend, Cat, put up the info for everything and has reference images, okay? So participation rewards, one Saint Badge, 50, 50 TP medals, um 5k damage will be 50 tp medals nickname more and fuse top clothing okay 15k 50 tp medals fuse shoes okay his yellow galoshes and illustration 152 which will go over all that 30k 50 tp medals uh fuse gloves okay his like cut cut finger gloves or whatever 
um, his Ash Ketchum gloves, uh, illustration 105, and then 50K will be 50 TP medals, fused pants, uh, the yellow pants, and 100K is just nothing. Okay, nothing special. Just TP medals and nickname Avenger, okay? So Cat put up references. Here's what the full outfit looks like, okay? That's everything without the accessory set, okay? You cannot get the accessory set on this one. But the full clothing is good, okay? I think it's been a while since we had this one, so get it, okay? Because I actually, this outfit is actually fire. It actually looks hilarious on a female. I love it. It's great, dude. Um, artwork 152 is a Spirit Bomb Goku artwork. I don't think this is one of the uh, ones that still hasn't been given out yet. I think it's like... 150 something 156 154 i can't remember um y'all let me know down in the comments what artworks are we currently missing that they still haven't given out yet okay that's 152 and 105 which is actually really cool a dragon ball under the uh namekian waters okay so that is it that is the situation with everything that you need to know currently today from what they put out again they might expand further on in terms of information for the uh stp medals and stuff but uh, until then this is kind of everything that you need to know if you're still confused comment down below uh, i'm probably going to put a pinned comment explaining it so that you can just read that um it might be a lot still because this is a lot of information y'all all right thanks for watching like subscribe ring my notification bell i'll keep you guys updated if any other info goes live y'all have an amazing day peace <laughs> this is broly and you are watching slow plays make sure to subscribe or else i'll destroy your entire planet <laughs>